family. This is the legend, the man that influenced us to come to Tanzania in a modern day time. Basically, he's one of the few countries that was open. Was Tanzania and Ethiopia. So many of us came to Tanzania and this man made it easy for us to come yeah, and made a lot of great points on the uh, COVID-19. So it was a good inspiration to you know, follow protocol but still enjoy and keep a country opening. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so fam, that's it. That's him right there, Dr. John Magafuli. <laughs> so fam, it's been a beautiful museum experience. So we're always definitely encouraging more and more people to literally come and enjoy the history and the culture. So this is literally our third museum that we've been to. So we start out at the Declaration Museum and the Natural Museum there in Arusha. And now we're here in Dar es Salaam at the National Museum and then after we break for lunch, we're going to head to our final museum, which is the Village Museum. So, color, it, it covers all aspects of our roots and culture. So family, the journey continues and what I'm going to do is, we're going to close out here at the museum with some final shopping. And then we're going to hear some words from our tour guide about Dr. John Magafuli. And she became the first president as the female. So John Joseph Pombe Magufuli, uh, he was against uh, among the leader who held the Tanzania during the COVID-19. He was not believing that the COVID-19, uh, uh, as long as the world has announced that the COVID-19 is the worldwide pandemic, so the only thing he was believing is each country has to find the way out on how to come out, how to solve the COVID-19, and not healing the directions from the other countries, like the lockdowns, right. the using of uh, vaccination, the use of uh, uh, masks and other issues. So he was believing. So the only thing that he used to encourage people, they should believe on themselves. Right. But also, fear, is the more thing that kills people. Yeah. But also, he didn't allow the issue of lockdowns. Simply, we are still depending on cultivations. So if you stop people from cultivating, what are we going to eat? How long ago did it happen? Uh, it was how? Long two, ago. Two, years. two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Okay. It was 2021. Oh, all right, yeah. recent, very recent. Yeah. 2021. So he died, he has, uh, how do I call it, the machine within his heart. Oh, uh, like a battery. Pacemaker, yes. Yeah. The pacemaker. So uh, the pacemaker uh, failed from there, he died. Wow. But as long as he was uh, against the COVID 19, some of the medias in the Europe, they used to say that, hey, the giant who was against the COVID 19, and finally, the COVID-19 took his life. Yeah. That's the only thing that's doing that. Yeah, that's the propaganda. And for sure, he helped us a lot on fighting on the issue of COVID-19. So he will remain in our hearts, in our brain as well. He's married and has children? He yes, he was married. And he had children? Yeah, he had children. How uh, many? I think it was five. No. Five kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very good number. Yeah, so we are just keeping here as the memory. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Tell me again. Yes, Mama. With the blue, what's the The blue, there's a water voice. Ocean, water, rivers, a lot. In streets. 